back to our channel. Today, an LFSE story, we're going to share a new hobby we're trying to get into. We just recently bought a laser engraving machine. It's a small desktop engraving machine that we bought online. Uh, it, we ordered it on Monday and it came on Thursday. And we just want to share with you our journey on how we put it together, get it set up, and how we made our first demo. We don't know exactly what we're going to do with the machine yet. But we want to do a little more crafting on the side. Maybe one day you will see LFSE Etsy shop. All right, follow us. Let's get started. Here's the unboxing of the Alter Master 2 laser engraver. For the size of the machine, the package is actually quite compact. It came with everything you need for the insulation, with the exception of a screwdriver. And the insulation is pretty straightforward. You start with building the frame, adding the rail, tightening belt, mounting the laser, adding the wiring, and that's pretty much it. After 30 minutes of assembly, we hooked it up to the computer and powered it on. The first thing we tested on was our kitchen cutting board, and it was very effective. After getting comfortable with the settings, we moved on to our first project. Here we engraved our channel name onto a little plaque just to see what it would look like. And here it is. We are pretty happy with the results and we can't wait to try playing with new projects. Let us know in the comments if you have some cool ideas for us to try. This week's Money 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 is dedicated to our PC gamers out there. If you ever wonder how you can get the cheapest price on games out there, I have just a trick for you. This is the website that I've been using for years and years. It is called CheapShark.com. It is a live tracker of the current prices of any PC game across multiple gaming retail platforms. Here's an example that I did on Wasteland 3. As you can see, Steam is still selling them for $60, but you can find it as low as $42 on Fanatical right now. And it even tells you that the lowest price ever was $39 back in December. You can even set up a price notification by just putting in your email and your target price. I never buy any games without checking this website first, and they probably save me hundreds of dollars. I also have one more final tip for you guys. Have you ever been in a situation where you want to try out a game, but you're not sure if you're going to like it? If you buy a game from, let's say, Amazon, there's absolutely no return policy. However, Steam is excellent with the return service. You can buy any games, play for two hours, and within 14 days, you can always return it for a full refund. That's all the money-saving tips for you PC gamers out there. Thanks for tuning in. Recipe of the week is creamy lobster ravioli. We're not making the ravioli from scratch, we just got them from Costco. On top of that, we need minced garlic, white wine, butter, heavy whipping cream, spinach, and parmesan cheese, which is optional because we didn't have it at home. You start with a pot of boiling water and cook the ravioli for four to six minutes. And then you throw in the butter in the pan and then saute the minced garlic until fragrant. And then you pour in one cup of white wine, cook it for three minutes. Then add in your heavy whipped cream, let it simmer for around six minutes. Then add in the star of the dish, a lot of spinach. Let it cook for a little bit. And guess what? Let's add more spinach. And then add generous amount of salt and pepper. Your ravioli should be done by now, so just take them out and plate them. Look at the creamy sauce with a healthy bunch of spinach. Here you go. Super simple, easy dinner on a weekday night. Hope you give it a try. <laughs> you keep repeating the same sentence. <laughs> I cannot be serious. 